Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. Welcome to... Uh, Do you, are you going to fart? No. Welcome to a holiday special episode. Hope you all are doing well. Enjoying your, your Merry Christmas day today. The whole world celebrates Christmas, right? No, Brian. Not the whole world. <laughs> I mean, like, they all recognize Christmas? Yeah, I mean, they recognize <clears throat> it, but not everyone celebrates it. Interesting. Let us know. I don't know who invited him, but it was me. And happy late Hanukkah. So. Yeah. Episode number 139. So since, as you can see, it's Christmas Day today. We're, well, not today, but when this comes out, it is. And uh, we're wearing our famous black hats. Um, we, <laughs> we decided to do an episode about Christmas. So there's, or a holiday, I guess. You sound it, like you're presenting a project to the class. It's called 10 Weird Holiday Traditions from Around the World. So we'll decide if they're weird. If it hits on where you're from, let us know if this is accurate or not. All right begin the getting ready for the holiday season is such a fun and festive time because everyone celebrates <clears throat> in their own unique way while some people put up decorative christmas trees covered in lights others are carving radishes for their holiday tradition what? if this sounds weird to you it gets even wackier so stay tuned if this is your first time visiting our channel don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up today we'll be showing you 10 weird holiday traditions from around the world kfc kfc is pretty delicious at any time of year but the japanese really enjoy eating what? meals from this fast food chain during the holiday season mm -hmm. although the fried chicken establishment originated in the western hemisphere people in asia just <laughs> can't get enough of it but there are so many fast food franchises out there what's so special about kfc to the japanese well this nationwide tradition started when KFC KFC marketed its food as a traditional family meal for the holidays. Shut the their fuck marketing up. gimmick no way. worked so Smart. well, and the Japanese thought a fried chicken dinner for their oh holiday God, was so an excellent idea. Since the 1970s, the lines at Japanese KFCs during the month of December have been ridiculous. Wow. Christmas may not be a national holiday in Japan, but some people treat it as a romantic holiday, similar mm. to Valentine's Day. It's customary for everyone to enjoy a nice dinner at a fancy restaurant or a bucket of. How bizarre and different. That is here. interesting, yeah. Yeah, you're not going to catch a line at KFC, most likely, on Christmas. Everything is closed here. Not well, everything. Most um, everything. But, yeah, a lot of places are closed. And if, like, they are opened, I would feel guilty. There's been a handful of times my mom wants us to go eat at a restaurant for Christmas. That's just true, to, like, yeah. Just, save ourselves from the chaos. And I always feel guilty because I'm like, these people are not with their families right now. They're here. Yeah. Chicken from a fast food joint. During the holiday season, an estimated 3.6 million Japanese Damn. treat themselves, their families, Fried and friends to the establishment's special Christmas dinner. The meal is so popular, some KFCs require customers to order weeks in advance. And those who what? rather stand in line for their meals sometimes have Holy to wait for hours to get their hands on a tasty drumstick and a biscuit. You know they're sending their kids out there at 2 a.m. I know. Mari Lewid, are you ready for the next weird holiday tradition? If so follow us along Wales. as we take a trip to Wales. This European country has a bunch of different customs, but its Christmas tradition might be the weirdest of them all. It's called Mari Luid, otherwise known as Grey Mare in English. Revelers take a horse's skull and decorate it with a bunch of different bells and fancy ribbons. Then they attach the skull to a pole. The person who's what holding the, the skull is then covered Look. with a white sheet, and they go door to door, singing songs and challenging families There's to a rap no battle. There's no way. As the battle challenging rate, families to, to a rap, rap battle? battle? Wow, Wales. What the That was unexpected. Fuck? This is like some Grim Reaper stuff. That, the rap that battle real, thing, though, is interesting. Is that a real skull? Or is that like fake? It looks like a real skull. That's fucked. Let us know in the comments if, if you've ever been to Wales or lived near Wales. I don't think we get many viewers that are in Wales. But if, if you have been or know about this, let us know more about it. It's weird. That's... That's like borderline. Kind of interesting, but weird. I don't know if interesting is the right word. Concerning, maybe. Concerning. 
is on, they diss each other and hurl playful insults back and forth until a winner of the rap battle is crowned. Then the person holding the skull is usually invited oh, damn, inside of their challenger's home to enjoy some delicious refreshments, heading out to the next house and starting a brand new battle all over again. This wow. old tradition has died out in many parts of the country, but it's still mm. alive and well in many areas because it's said to bring good luck. If you travel to Wales any time between December and January, you've been warned. Don't be surprised myself. if you see someone draped in a white sheet carrying around an animal skull. We're not even sure where they get the horse skulls from, but to be honest, we'd rather not know. Goat right. on fire. Damn. Since 1966, the town of Yavle, Sweden, has been Yavle. partaking in an act of arson to celebrate the holidays. <laughs> if you think this yes. sounds strange, no, just wait, because we're going to tell you all about this weird tradition. Each year, the historic city builds a 43-foot-tall straw goat. On December what? 3rd, Burning a man. large crowd gathers in the city to inaugurate the straw sculpture. <laughs> Fireworks go on. Burning Man, babe. Have you guys ever seen the movie uh, Midsummer? This reminds me of something <laughs> that would happen at like yeah. when the <laughs> cold, <laughs> or like uh, there's an older one called The Wicker Man with Nicolas Cage, <gasps> and they burn uh, a large straw like figure as they're killing him. Off in the distance as everyone celebrates, and the goat stands proudly in the center of the town for everyone to gaze at its beauty. So where does the fire come into play? Well, the tradition was never intended for the goat to be set on fire, but that's usually what happens year after year. Our someone was just like, to someone was just like, let's burn this fucking thing, and they're just like, yeah, sure. It's tempting. I'm not gonna lie. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Forge the goat 39 times throughout the years, but the people of this so city bad. have finally decided to wisen up. They now set up security cameras and they have an around the clock live stream for people who keep an eye on the beloved goat. And if anyone tries to torch it, they'll be in for the stiff punishment. In 2001, an American tourist reportedly spent two weeks behind Damn. bars and paid a $10,000 fine after setting the poor goat on fire. When asked why he did it, he said it was because he thought it was a part of the city's tradition. Oh, come on. Because the straw sculpture has gone up in flames so many times. Of course, it was an American who did that. I don't know. Sorry, yeah, guys. Who were just like, yeah, fuck it. I'll do it. Like Iconic. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But... Uh Ten thousand dollars and fines, that's crazy. Right. Not surprised that some people are confused by this tradition. It seems like the people of this town expect the goat to be destroyed, but they don't actually encourage it. Christmas log. This next tradition may seem like a joke, but it actually originates from the old Catalan mythology. Catalan. For ages, people have used logs to help keep this long standing tradition alive. Beginning on December eighth, people <laughs> in this region gather up their decorative hollow logs. Each wooden log has a face and stick legs, and they wear little red hats on their heads. Before <laughs> Off oh to my bed, God. Children will grab sticks and proceed to beat their log while singing a traditional Catalonian song. That, then they, that escalated. They beat their log. That escalated. I'm thinking this is like Elf on a Shelf. <laughs> or like, right? That's what, Or like, what is that? Flat Stanley? Well, I've never heard no. of those. You know, Elf on a Shelf. You've what? heard of Elf on a Shelf. The fuck is that? The little mini elves that they people will like put in funny places in their homes or workplace and have them doing something silly. Mm -hmm. You've seen Elf on a Shelf. It sounds funny. One time I worked a catering event years ago and the family, very wealthy, they hired someone to be an elf on a shelf. It was like a small uncomfortable. Man? He wasn't even that small. He, he was scrawny, but he wasn't that short. And he would just like sit in the most random places <laughs> for like a couple hours and then move elsewhere. And just it was so it was just bizarre. Oh my God. Then they play nice with the log by making sure it's nice and cozy. They will set it up in a prominent but place in their home or and leave food out for it to eat. <laughs> then they'll wrap the wooden figure in a nice little blanket to keep it warm throughout the night. It's almost this is similar so to random. Westerners leaving milk and cookies out for Santa Claus on Christmas Santa Eve. Claus. Except kids in Catalonia aren't waiting for Santa to climb down their chimneys and leave them presents. They believe the wooden log is the actual bearer of oh gifts. God. As they head off to bed to get some Z's, their parents fill up the inside of the hollow logs with treats, candies, and other presents. When the kids wake that up, they so are greeted by the sight of their gifts cascading outside of the log, sort of like the log is going number two. This may sound pretty gross to you, but it's a really fun and festive holiday tradition in hilarious. this region of Spain. Roller skate to mass. This next Christmas tradition sounds like so much fun. Right. Are you ready to find out what it is? If so, follow us along as we head off to the city of Caracas, Venezuela. On Christmas morning, residents of the city wake up to a dazzling display of wow, colorful fireworks wow. in the early nice. morning. Then every 
everyone in the city puts on their roller skates to embark on a trip downtown to yes. attend Christmas Mass. This tradition attracts so many roller skaters. The streets are closed off beginning at 8 a.m. and roads are blocked off so that everyone can make their roller Damn. skating commute without having to deal with traffic. For those who choose to stay home and watch the skating event from inside their house, there's still a way for them to get involved in this yearly tradition. Children have been known to tie one end of a string to their big toe and hang the string outside of their window. As the roller skaters pass by, they will gently pull on the string as they skate by. Once the roller whoa, skaters whoa, reach whoa. the church, they roll down. This just sounds like they're about to rip someone's toe off. No, no, no. The fuck? You're just going to stand there and wait for people to tug at your toe? That's fucking bizarre. What if someone pulls extremely hard and they right. rip your what if somebody they break your toe? What if somebody grabs it and then like falls <laughs> and goes flying? Oh my god. That before taking off scary. their skates and putting on their regular shoes. When mass is over, they put their skates back on and hit the town. As they make their I mean, way back home, though. they might even that stop by a few homes skating. that have their doors open. Many people will offer the skaters hot chocolate or a coffee as a friendly gesture. This is where the disconnect happens, okay? Americans would never. Yeah. Maybe a very small town. In well, that's like, what... In like uh, Indiana or something, I don't know, in the Midwest. But... That's what I I think we we lack a little bit that a lot of community. other countries have is community. Yeah. This is someone who's from a city, so yeah. I also I'm don't sure have the experience of you know. Well, yeah, that's true. In small towns, it's a little more, but no, would I don't, your town do something like this? No, they still wouldn't feel safe. Come on over. Yeah, they wouldn't feel they wouldn't feel that safe. Doing get that. out of my house. Yeah. That's crazy. I respect it, but yeah. it's crazy to me. Creepy spider webs. Westerners get ready for the holiday season by purchasing a real or a fake Christmas tree. Then the entire family gathers around to decorate the tree with That's shiny us. ornaments yeah. and a string of bright and colorful lights. In Ukraine, a tree is also a common symbol of the holiday season, but they decorate theirs a bit differently. Before we tell you what they use on their trees, we'll first have to tell you where their yearly tradition originated from. An old Ukrainian legend stated that a poverty-stricken family was feeling a bit down on Christmas Eve because they weren't able to decorate their tree in shiny lights and ornaments. As they went to bed that night, spiders that were roaming the house heard their sobs no. and cries and decided to decorate their tree for them. The spiders spun spider a bunch webs. of webs all over the tree, and on Christmas morning, the strands turned to gold and silver, changing the family's fortune forever. Because of this legend, That's people cute. in the Ukraine now decorate their trees with spider webs too well. Fake ones, of course. This tradition is supposed huh. to usher in good luck for the upcoming year, as many people still hope I mean, that that's Maybe kind of a slam, I'm not gonna lie. That looks cute. Gold and silver, just like that's a pretty cool tradition. They U look Ukraine. Yeah, it's like uh, it reminds me of the Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, it's blending Halloween. And yeah, that's kind of cool. Wait, Legend. Now this is one weird that. tradition we wouldn't mind taking part in. Hide your Creepy brooms. I hate spiders. Norwegians are really serious about their cleaning supplies, especially their brooms. The broom became a part of their Christmas tradition many years ago, according to legend. The story includes witches and evil spirits that would come out on Christmas Eve and steal everyone's Norwegian's brooms. The witches and spirits would then use the brooms to fly through the sky and wreak havoc on the towns. Whether this legend is true or not, it have? still freaks out the people of Norway to this day. So they've continued to participate in this yearly custom to safeguard their brooms from the creepy villains. Every year, they stash away their brooms and hide them on Christmas Eve, and some of the men of this country actually take things one step further. They'll actually step outside of their home and let off a blast from their firearm to show the spirits that they mean business. This may sound a little bit excessive, <laughs> but it's always best to respect other people's traditions no matter how crazy they may sound to you. Now, we've seen some pretty weird holiday traditions so far, but nothing can prepare you for what's coming up next. It has to do with with the radishes oh, no. we told you about at the beginning of this video. Are you ready to find out more? Okay, here we go. Night of the Radishes. Radishes aren't usually a veggie that get a lot of praise and attention, unless you just so happen to live in the Mexican city of Oaxaca. In 1897, the city's mayor created a tradition that required everyone to take part in a radish carving celebration. The event We're kicks quite, off every right? December 23rd. Why can't I talk? It required them to take part in this or okay. what? That's today. So right now, they're carving up radishes, slaving away, carving up radishes. The night of the radishes. 
called the Night of the Radishes. Although the name suggests it only lasts for one night, it's actually a three-day long event. Everyone gets involved in this holiday tradition, from young kids to talented artists. Everyone puts I mean, their creative abilities to the test by creating some pretty amazing radish sculptures. Wow. The event takes place in the town plaza where everyone puts their radishes on displays. After church services, people head out into the market area to view all the beautiful decorated veggies. They can even cute. purchase some of them if they like. The radishes used in this event are grown specifically for this tradition, so they're a lot larger and heavier than your wow. typical radishes you'd find in the grocery store. They're not meant to be eaten. They're considered works of art. This festival is so popular, people line up for hours just to get a peek at the carved vegetables, from ones that are designed as nativity scenes to radishes that are shaped like snakes and alligators. The city also gives a grand prize of 12,000 pesos, or approximately 635 US dollars, to the best radish sculpture. Moldy Seal. We hope you don't have a weak stomach because this next tradition will definitely make you a bit nauseous. It takes place in Greenland, and it's a traditional holiday feast that's planned months and sometimes years in advance. To prepare the meal, the people of this island sculpture a seal. The meat is removed from the inside, and just the thick layer of fat on the outside remains. Then they sew the skin together, sort of like a bag, to help keep it in place. Then they stuff the inside of the seal with 300 to 500 little birds called ox. For the last step, they get a- What the fuck Why? is- why? You're gutting the seal and doing what Holy with the insides? Shit, this is a weird one. A bunch of seal fat and smear it all over the outside of the animal to help keep flies and other rodents away from it. Next, they take the bird stuffed seal and leave it underneath a pile of rocks. They allow the flesh to rot, decompose, and ferment from anywhere between 3 to 18 months. As soon as winter arrives, it's time for them to enjoy this holiday. No meal. way. So, like. Each year you're eating a seal that was probably rotting from last year. Yeah. Guys. This is crazy. I, 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 I kind of want to travel the there and try and this. proceed to chop up the seal I'm and birds and enough. share it with their family and friends. But because the smell of rotting flesh is so terrible, they can but As long as you eat it. I, I'm over here thinking they're just displaying it. Friends, but because the smell of rotting flesh is so terrible, they can only eat this traditional dish outside so they don't stink up their homes. Those who have tried this meal say it tastes like a mixture of licorice and the strongest cheese ever. Are you an adventurous eater? If so, would you be brave? Okay, but how does your stomach taste? take this because this isn't something you're eating all the time yeah. So, yeah i feel like you would get sick and you went from greenland who's participated greenland is such a like random place like i don't really hear anything about it i need to know from someone who has tasted this how was it and what is the what is the like history of this not even just history well yeah that what is the appeal of something that smells so bad you have to eat it outside like why why are you doing this to yourself yeah enough to take a bite out of Greenland's moldy seal, Krampus. Now it's time oh, to tell you about the weirdest holiday tradition of them all. It takes part in Austria and other parts of Europe, and it's called Krampus Night. In case you're unaware, Krampus is the anti-Santa. He actually looks more like a wicked monster or an evil beast. On December 5th, which is <clears throat> the eve of St. Nicholas Day, people get dressed up in their most horrifying Krampus outfits. While Santa Claus rewards all the good kids with presents and treats, Krampus is unleashed to punish all the bad God damn. People <laughs> dressed in their Krampus outfits roam the streets to scare young children. And we're sure <laughs> I mean, that's fucking hilarious. Totally that's awesome. Whenever Krampus <clears throat> night rolls around, many of the costumes have horns, fangs, and everything else nightmares are made of. While the Krampus beasts are chugging alcohol and wandering down the streets, kids leave boots outside their front doors. In the morning, Krampus will either leave a present in their boot if they've been good, or a rod if they've been a bad boy or girl. Damn. <laughs> that actually sounds traumatizing. Imagine getting a rod in your fucking shoe outside that's so weird You're like what did i do i, I would be spiraling i'd be like, like what did i do wrong me. yeah he's gonna come and kill me yeah that's that krampus sad. one is interesting i mean yeah we've seen isn't there like that scary movie about krampus i've never seen it but yeah there is i feel like we did a long time ago when it came out Maybe. i don't remember that's that's nothing futz that i don't know if i'd be able to survive to, to me the weirdest one was the the moldy seal that was really weird and kind of like disgusting but sorry yeah i agree very interesting let us know why yeah. please i need to know why i want to know why too <laughs> but if any of you are familiar with these leave a comment below and let us know like if they were accurate or if like and you if know. your country does anything <laughs> bizarre 
let us know that wasn't in this video yeah that's true because i'm sure there's a lot that weren't covered because a lot of these were they were just like interesting they weren't anything like crazy except for that seal man that seal is really random that's gonna live they in didn't like go into any of the backstory of why yeah anyway but yeah hope you enjoyed that video guys um happy holidays yes and have a happy new year well probably i, th I don't know if this, we're gonna have a video that lands on new year's but well christmas and new year's <coughs> are exactly a week apart so most likely we will but yeah hope you guys enjoyed it have a good rest of your merry christmas day and thank you for watching if you are make sure to jump over to our vlog channel we'll see you next time bye peace